What's happening, gearheads? Peter Von Pandy here. Hey, I know when you get a check engine light on your car, it sucks. And I know some places will scan those codes for free for you, like AutoZone. I think they do. They used to. But you still have to go there. You have to get in line. You've got to get someone to come out and tell you what you have. You know, and sometimes it's just nice to know what that code is. So I picked this up because this was the cheapest code scanner I could find. It's an ODB made OM123. And typically, you know, just the, the inexpensive handheld scanners, I'll be honest, are a hundred bucks. And really all they do, and all I think this one will do, is just tell us what the code is. And then you can either go online, like I usually do, or refer to the manual to see what the code is. And that kind of helps you, especially for us garage mechanics, to kind of nail down what the problem is. Sometimes it's a, uh, a gas tank uh, vacuum failure and it's just a loose gas cap or a missing gas cap. Um, so the cool thing is, you know, what, what year was it? 2001? Uh, I don't remember when they went to ODB2. Maybe it's like 2000, but pretty much all recent cars will have this connection underneath the dashboard, usually underneath the steering column in the kind of in the driver foot well somewhere. And so you plug this in, the car has to be, you know, typically usually powered on, accessory power at least, and then you'll get a code, you know, it'll connect and you'll get a menu and then be able to read the codes and usually scroll through the codes. Now they will usually be P and then four digits, O, you know, 0101 or P1305 or whatever it might be. And those, you know, will kind of give you, you know, some general guidance in what the fault is. I can tell you this orange plastic certainly looks the business, certainly looks like ODB scanners I've had in the past. You know, it looks like we've got a pretty big kind of traditional liquid crystal display up here, uh, up and down buttons for scrolling through the error codes, enter and exit, and up and down for going through the menu as well. And so you can usually reset the code too, especially if you think you've solved the problem and then one drive around. And then the cable here itself is pretty long too, probably two feet. And everything about it seems like it's well constructed. I mean, the plastic seems pretty good here, kind of like a cordless tool plastic. And then this seems actually really heavy. So now the question is, <laughs> uh, I need to go out and find a car that has a code problem or an, a check engine light on so that I can demonstrate how this sucker works. Let's go find one. All right, guys, so I'm in my GMC terrain. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my hands on a car that has a check engine light on, but you know, I think we'll be able to see if this sucker works. So I do have the ODB scanner right here, and I think I'm gonna just kind of feel around. Um, I think the port should be kind of down here by my feet somewhere. And there, I can feel it right here. So on the GMC train, it's kind of down by your left foot. So let me make sure. Right. So I've got it plugged in now and look at that. Uh, you are, it's already getting power. I have the, the ignition uh, to power on. So I'm just gonna actually start the car now. And the cool thing about it is the, the screen is backlit, so it's really readable. Man, that's pretty nice. I've got the, the light on my camera on too, because I didn't realize it was gonna be like that. So I've got it on, and now I'm gonna press any key to continue. That's any key. And now it's waiting for the vehicle to respond. Okay, look at that, code's found. I mean, it's scrolling through a bunch of stuff. That engine sounds good. Let's see, so I could, you know, if I wanted to read codes, I'd just press enter here. If I wanted to erase those codes, because I think, uh, you know, I fixed it. Say I was getting a bad ODBT or oxygen sensor, O2 sensor or something, and it replaced the sensor, I could erase the codes. Let me hit, uh, hit enter on stored codes. No codes found in, the module let me see if there's any pending codes no trouble codes that's good i don't want this car to have any codes let me just go down here to vehicle info see what it and key on with engine off and press any key to continue so looks like it now i didn't do what it said to do there but it looks like it gives me some um actual uh, specific vehicle info which I'm not gonna give you here. Anyway, 
So there it is, man. Uh, I'm pretty impressed with this thing. In fact, I will say that the menu certainly seems like it's more robust than uh, the cheap ODB scanners that I've had before. And for under 40 bucks, you can have this at home. So if you're kind of a garage mechanic, uh, like I have been, or have a friend, or do a lot of work, or have an aging car, you know, I think these things are super um, nice to have around and certainly could make you kind of the favorite neighbor for your neighborhood too if uh, people are working on their cars. Check it out. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Von Panda out.